Hello, this is David Giese, the CEO and co-founder of Analytics. Today, I'm going to be talking about traceability, and in particular, why Notion is an excellent tool for handling traceability for medical device startups. So first of all, what is traceability? Traceability is the ability to trace the history or origin or source of various objects. So when developing a medical device, there are various information entities that you need to trace together. For example, you need for each requirement that your medical device software must fulfill, you need to be able to trace it back to the user need um, that that requirement originated from. And and so on. And there's and there's even more than what's shown here. And so traceability is required by the various standards and regula regulations that uh, you need to follow when building a medical device. So common tools that people use what to handle traceability are, of course, Excel. So here we have a couple of sheets. We've got a sheet with user needs. Um, the ID is manually assigned here, and you'd write, write in the description of the user need, and then um, we also then trace it back, the, the requirements back to those user needs. Uh, of course, this could be made a little better using VLOOKUPs and so on. Um, there's also other tools like Greenlight Guru or other EQMS vendors that provide traceability tools. However, we prefer using Notion, and for those of you who aren't aware, uh, Notion is a software tool. It's kind of like Google Docs in some ways in that it's live editing, but it has more power and a somewhat different uh, suite of features than Google Docs. And people are often a little bit surprised when we say we use Notion because they view it as a project management tool or even a personal organization tool. But actually, Notion is very general purpose and flexible. And as you'll see in this video, it's uh, excellently suited for traceability. So let's go over to uh, this page here. I thought I'd just walk you through a quick example. So this is an empty Notion page. And we could, of course, write uh, a text like a Word document here. But we can also insert what Notion calls uh, databases. Database is really. Um, like a table or sheet in an Excel file. So we can then say uh, user needs and requirements. And we can add other types of columns. Um, so for example, with the, uh, here we could, we could add a select column for the type of uh, requirement. So functional, or uh, alarms and so on, and the you know the various things that you need to track. Um, but where the real power comes in is in the relation properties. So I'll add a relation property here. Select requirements that the database that we want to link to. This will make it show up on that other database as well. And then let's add it. And so now you can see here if we add. Uh, user needs, we can then select, oh, I want to trace this requirement, requirement D, to user needs A and B. Um, and then it shows up on the other side. And so this, uh, this is an, an excellent tool for handling traceability. It makes it very easy to add things. You don't need to track all the IDs manually. and um, in addition to all of this, each of these entries is itself a document or a page, and you can write comments, and it's all updated in real time. So it's a very convenient tool. So I'd like to show you a, a bit more fleshed out example. This is from our design history file template, and you can see we have all these different databases here, and they're all interlinked together. So if we go into requirements, um, you can see, like I was mentioning, the type, the verification procedures, the software items um, that implement that requirement, risks, user needs, and so on. So there's several ways that the flexibility that Notion provides can be really advantageous. Um, first of all, each medical device is a little bit unique. And sometimes it can be helpful to have um, non-standard uh, tables or database entries that trace together to all of these information entities. And if you have a, a, a tool that doesn't provide that flexibility, it can be limiting. So here, here's a few concrete examples. So if we have 
if we're following IEC 62304, you may need to have system requirements and software requirements. And so the software requirements would then link to the system requirements, which would link to the user needs. And if your tool doesn't support that, that can be difficult to deal with. Um, another example would be, let's say you want to, some, some people may want to combine their safety risk management with their cybersecurity risk management, while other people may want to combine those two tables together. Notion easily supports uh, both. Um, another example is we found it can be very convenient to trace requirements back to standards or guidance documents um, that are the source of those requirements. And there's various ways you could do that. You could put them as a user need, but we actually have a bibliography that we use throughout all the documents we produce. And it's very convenient to be able to trace the requirements that go back to say IC 60601-1 or, or whatever other standard. Um, other examples, maybe a more exotic example would be if you have a suite of related medical devices and when we are in this situation, it can be quite burdensome to have a separate design history file where you're tracking all these things for each individual device because they're uh, mostly very similar. And what you could do in that case is you could have a an add a new devices table and you could add relations to the, these various entities to say these requirements are only for a particular device. So if we go back to our little example here, I could say devices and you know we could have dev A, so maybe this is one variant and this is another variant that's more expensive and has some additional features. Um, we can then relate this to the requirements that um, th for that device. And you can see all the shared requirements show up here. And um, the, the ones that are unique to the more expensive version all, are all in the same place. And that can, that can make documentation management much easier to deal with. So you don't have so much duplication. You might also notice that I haven't been entering IDs and we don't have IDs in here. And the reason for that is because we don't really need the IDs if we're, at least not until we export the documents, we don't need them within Notion because the linkages are, are handled internally. Now we do, have, we do have several Notion integrations that we use to actually produce the documents from the data that's stored in Notion. And at that stage, we do add uh, identifiers to all the various entities to help external, you know, once the documents are printed, people need to be able to say, oh, I meant requirement 0043 or whatever. Um, but internally, you don't need to, to mess with that in the day to day, which is very convenient. Um, I hope I hope this is helpful. And I hope you can see why Notion is a great tool. Actually, one, one other thing I'd mentioned that's very useful is being able to trace requirements uh, to the actual issues. So we use Notion also for a project management tool and we can trace when we're dividing up the work to our software engineers, we can actually trace the, the software issues to the requirements that are related to them or to, or really to other, uh, business processes, um, that, that are involved. So it can, having it all interconnected together is, is, can be a huge benefit. So, Anyway, thanks a lot, and um, please reach out if you have any medical device software needs, if you need help with your 510k submission or AI software development or anything in between. Th thanks a lot.